building character. Success is not possible without character and integrity. Now, the problem in today's world is that everybody wants things quickly, okay? You want quick soup, quick overnight success, and so forth. But character takes time, and it's slow, and it's painful because growth is slow and it's painful sometimes. And that's what you need to realize, that character is something that you need to develop over a long period of time. Now, uh, when we talk about character, we often um, make the mistake that saying, oh, this, this person has a great character, but what we mean actually are his personality traits. But the personality traits that someone has, like being outgoing or funny and things like that, those things are not character. Character is more deep within. Now, um, character is something that you can develop like a muscle, like training at the gym, okay? And it can grow over time. And I wanna show you how you can build more character. We all have a comfort zone. And let's say this circle represents your comfort zone. And all the things that you do within this circle are the things that you're used to that are, are normal for you. But you will not grow if you don't go out of your comfort zone, which means you need to break through the things that you normally do. Now, in order to get out and increase your size, your circle, you need to do things uh, that you are scared of that uh, are painful, so to speak, okay? Now, in order to do that, you need to face your problems, you need to face your fears. And the problem is often that we don't like to deal with uncomfortable situations because we are afraid and because it's painful. But the only way to succeed in this life is to confront the pain and to, to deal with your fears. And when you do that, when you do that, you will realize that all of a sudden you will make progress. Okay, so let's say you're afraid of calling up clients because you've never done that. Okay. Now, once you actually do it, once you decide to actually do it, and you just do it despite the fear, you will realize it's not that big of a deal. And it's actually doable. And you will get some results, good or bad, but you will get some results. If you don't do anything, it's like a decision to do nothing, which means you have no results. So a decision not to do anything is basically the same decision like doing nothing. And um, so um, once you break through and you do that, you will see that it wasn't such a big deal. But most of us start to suffer because we are afraid of making those phone calls. And because we are so afraid, we suffer. And that suffering becomes unbearable. And it's suffering is like a, like, it's almost like a choice. And that what we do, what we, we, we're hurt and <laughs> the things don't move forward. But the pain is much easier to deal with than the suffering. So I want to encourage you, whenever you are afraid, to break through that fear despite your fear and to do it and you will see that you will grow as a person. Sometimes things need to fall apart to fall into place. Sometimes things need to be so bad that you say to yourself, no more. Okay, I can't take this anymore. I've had it. And that is actually a great place to be in. That's a good place to be in because that's when change happens. If you are in your comfort zone and things are not really good, but things are not really bad either, then you have no real reason to change and nothing actually changes. So things will only change once you had enough when things are bad, okay? Because you come off your path for so much that you need to redirect your ship and get back on the right path. So change is good. Embrace change. And when things fall apart, it's a great sign that something new is coming into your life. So I'm not the best drawer in this world, but I'm going to try to do something. Okay, so let's say here, we have something like a dog or a combination between a dog 
and a pig, okay? So this here is Fido. <laughs> and Fido is inside of you here. Here, Fido smiles, huh? Okay. <laughs> Fido is inside of you, okay? It's, we call it the innere Schweinehund in German, which means it's a combination between a dog and a pig. And it's like this lazy uh, personality of yours. It's the one who doesn't want to feel pain, who doesn't want to work, who rather wants to enjoy life and eat that piece of cake when you know you shouldn't, for example. So Fido is inside of you and Fido is giving you a hard time because he's lazy, he doesn't want to work, and the only way how you can break through is to make a pact with Fido. So you can say, hey Fido, sit, <laughs> listen to me. I'm going to give you all the pleasure in this world. I'm going to give you everything that you've ever wanted. Okay, but I need to make a pact with you. And the pact goes like this. You need to shut up, you need to be quiet, and I need to do the work for both of us so that in five years, if you've shut up for five years, we both can enjoy a good life together. But right now is the time to work, right now is the time to perform, so I need you to be quiet. Can you do that, Fido? And after I give you all the rewards, holidays, the, the food, uh, the, the women, or whatever it is that you want, but right now we need to work and we need to do the things that are good for you, okay? So making a pact with Fido is very important for your life. The next thing I want to talk about is truth and honesty. Being honest is one of the most important things in this life. Being honest with yourself, first of all, and being honest with other people. And if you're honest and truly honest with yourself, you will discover a few things that maybe you don't like, that maybe are not good, maybe things that you try to avoid or push away. But your life will not get better if you're not completely honest with yourself. You will only improve if you realize what is not so good with you and so you can change it. So awareness is always the first step to any kind of change. The second thing is honesty with other people. If you can't be honest with other people, when you constantly have to lie or cheat or uh, hide, um, you will never ever feel um, peace of mind. You will never ever feel successful and that's not true success if you have to lie your, your way into success. So you can only be truly happy and successful if you're honest and the truth will always come out no matter what. Okay? Buddha even said there's three things that can't be hidden for too long. First it's the Sun, then the Moon, and then the truth. So honesty is the most important thing. And if you're not honest today, or not honest with yourself or certain parts in your life, I want to encourage you, even if it's your ter to your temporary disadvantage, to choose honesty in your life. One of the most important things to grow as a person is courage and self-confidence. Now, how do you develop self-confidence? You can develop self-confidence with believing in yourself. And how do you believe in yourself? Obviously, by doing little things, achieving little goals. And how, where do you start? Make a list of, let's say, the 10 or 20 things that you have accomplished in your life or you're really proud of. So let's say you make that list and you look at that list of the uh, 20 things that you have accomplished in this life where you really proud even if they're little things for someone else but for you they're big things okay where you felt really happy and proud like you know taking that exam or uh, getting that diploma or uh, whatever it might be okay and if you set out to do things and you say to yourself this is what I want to do and you do it and you achieve it that's when you believe your own worth which means you believe yourself okay so that's what self-confidence is so self-confidence is something that can be uh, developed over time. It's like a muscle again. And it's something where uh, that you, you're not born with, okay? So a baby who's born is not born with a lot of self-confidence. But self-confidence, believing in yourself, is the key or one of the most important factors for being successful in no matter what you do. 
So self-confidence is important. Um, and it comes also from being courageous, to face your fears. Now, how do you uh, practice being courageous? And it can be little things, okay? So let's say you're scared of calling up a certain person because you want something or need something from that person. So taking that courage and doing it despite your fear is going to develop that muscle, that, that uh, courage muscle. Or go skydiving or j bungee jumping or whatever it is that you're scared of. And the more you do things that you're scared of, the more belief you have in yourself, the more self-confidence you will develop over time. And that is very important for your success. And the last thing is self-discipline, okay? So self-discipline is doing the things, whether you feel like doing them or not, but you do them anyway so that you can achieve your goals, okay? Because you set out a goal and you have to do certain things to accomplish that goal. And by doing more of achieving more of those little goals, you will develop more self-confidence because you know that you're capable of doing them. So courage, self-discipline will lead to more self-confidence. And self-confidence is the most important thing in this world if you want to achieve anything. He without fear is king of the world. Think about that. He without fear is king of the world. Facing your fears Okay, fear of failure and fear of rejection. If you do those things, you can accomplish anything. Now, if you know my story, you know that one of the things that motivated me was to make $100,000 per month. And it wasn't the money that motivated me. It was to become the person who is capable of making that kind of money. So basically, to work on my own character. And how did I do that? Or what did it take? And I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, so first of all, the one thing that I was always fighting against was the amount of time that I was working. Okay. So typically a normal person works eight or nine hours a day. And when they do that, they think, okay, they've done their job and that's good. And then during that time, during those eight or nine hours, how do they work? Obviously, you know, they have a lot of lunch breaks. They talk to their uh, friends and colleagues. Uh, they spend time surfing the internet and so forth. They're not really working the entire time. So one of the things that I needed to change is to realize first one thing. You cannot become truly successful if you don't put in the hours. And that means not just working the eight or nine hours and not just working them completely well, but also working 10, 12, 13, 14 hours. Sometimes just to increase that time that you put in and you don't have to do this forever you can do it for two or three years but really give it your all and you will see how your life will change never be lazy okay so self-discipline means never to be lazy to work whether you feel like it or not but to always work and that is also important so if you feel like oh, I'd rather watch TV tonight no 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 go and do that thing okay the next thing is to focus to focus your your energy on one goal. And usually how I did it was to focus, to make a list at the beginning of each day to say, okay, what are the things that I really want to accomplish today and focus on getting those things accomplished, okay? And once you did your list, then you can be happy and you can do whatever you want to do afterwards. But you can't stop uh, the day in the middle if you haven't um, accomplished your, your personal list that you set out to do. And then the next thing is obviously to improve your communication skills because we're dealing with people. We're dealing with clients, we're dealing with, with business partners and so forth. So one of the most important thing is to, to really improve your communication skills. And I have actually um, a program called Sales Psychology where I teach you everything that I know from 20 years of experience about sales, communication, psychology, human behavior, and so forth. And that is very, very important if you want to deal with other people because business is dealing with people, okay? So that was important. And then finally, obviously, uh, having clarity. Clarity helps you. Clarity about yourself, who you are, and clarity about your goals. What is it that you really want to do? And if you have crystal clear clarity, that's when you can excel, okay? So meaning, having character means to know what is right and also what is wrong and who, what you stand for and what you don't stand for. So once you know yourself 
and once you know what you really want. Okay, and those two things sound very simple and very easy, but those are the foundation for success. Oh,